here's the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. Back courtside at Holt Fieldhouse where Carson Newman trails Coker 42-34 at the halftime break. On the diamond today, Carson Newman softball sweeps the Converse Valkyries 8-0 and 6-1. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head softball coach Michael Greggs. Michael, congratulations. First 6-0 start for this program since 2014. Uh, what did it take to get the job done today against Converse? Well, we continued hitting. That's a uh, positive we've been uh, uh, counting on here lately. Plus, uh, we had two very good pitching performances, you know, to start the games. Uh, Allison Rager, a career high, or Rager, pardon me, a career high in strikeouts with seven. What'd she do to be so effective today? <coughs> Allison's just very, very good at putting the ball where she needs to put it. She has great movement also, and, you know, she throws it just a probably a notch or two harder than Lacey does, and we all know how good Lacey is. And Lacey Rhinus, uh, a solid effort herself, combined shutout with Abby Hicks in game one. Uh, not the overpowering strikeout numbers that she's had uh, in years past, but uh, equally impressive at the plate. She had three home runs in her first two seasons here at Monsey Creek. She went yard twice today. What about the efforts of your junior starter there? <laughs> well, I, uh, Lacey hasn't. She had the flu, so she hasn't even uh, pitched in practice in probably a week and a half. So today's the first time that she had thrown a ball. I told her I might not be able to uh, see if we can help her out with uh, pitcher of the week, but uh, we <laughs> might be off to a good start on player of the week. Uh, you, you look at uh, what some others do, especially in game two, Valerie C., She's been in and out of the lineup, and Mercy, I don't know if you could ask for a better performance out of her. No, we've been trying to get Val going there, you know, for four games now, and, you know, we're slowly working her into it, and I know Valerie can hit. Valerie sometimes her own worst enemy, but last uh, couple times we've put her in there, I mean, wow, she's just performed greatly. Uh, uh, three hits on the season. They're all extra bases, a two-run double against – Georgia College, and then she goes with a triple and an inside-the-park home run today. I've, I've told her all she has to do is find a gap somewhere. It's a stand-up double, maybe even a uh, triple. She's fast, and she has surprising power to be so little. Uh, game two, you, you get to, to play a lot of people. Uh, Carmen Holt made her Carson Newman debut. Leslie Dixon made her Carson Newman debut. You saw Madison Mathis in the field. Uh, Kelsey Jones in the field. How good, nice was it to be able to give some players a, a chance and at some extended run? Well, I mean, it's always good to try and get them into the game. They practice hard, too. They show up to practice every day, and, you know, a lot of times they don't get the reward that some of the other kids do. So anytime we can give them an opportunity to get in the game is always a pleasant surprise. Uh, turn your attention now to the Concord Mountain Lions on Wednesday. <coughs> uh, Carson Newman hasn't started 7-0, letting eight let alone 8-0 in uh, a long time. What's What needs to happen against a Concord team that always gives Carson Newman fits? Well, they're very scrappy, and like you said, they always give us fits. They, uh, they tend to play us real well and put runs on the board. We have got to do a better job, and that's what we talked about. I said, you know, I'm happy we're 6-0, but, you know, on the flip side of that, we're not scoring runs first two innings of ball games, And, you know, it's going to come back and bite you at some point in time, and – you're going to be so far behind that you can't catch up. So we're focusing on scoring runs early, and hopefully that starts Wednesday. Michael Graves, thanks for the time. Congrats on two wins today. Thank you. That is Carson Newman head softball coach Michael Graves. Tanner Swift has a look around the league when we come back after this on the Eagle Sports Network.